this young Nigerian you're looking at on your screen right now, this small boy, 17 years old, small boy, where the mama just born out yesterday. <laughs> That's what Nigerians they talk. That's the way Nigerians will describe a small eh, like you are young. You were your mama just born you yesterday. Yes, this small boy, 17 years old, is already challenging technology from America, Europe, and the other parts of the world. This boy has already created, has invented something that can stand and challenge technology from America, technology from China, technology from Europe, or anywhere you want to mention in the world. I'm telling you guys for a fact, this video will shock you. The invention of this young man will shock many of you watching this video right now. Who is this young boy from Nigeria? Where is he from? What did he invent? And what is the capacity of his invention? Are people using it? Is it being tested? Is it being proven that it's working? I will answer all those questions in this video for you. So make sure you stay tuned and watch the video carefully till the very end. I have something very important to tell you guys at the end of the video. So keep watching. You understand? First of all, for those of you who don't know, Nigerians are very, very creative. Nigerians are very, very inventive. That means Nigerians are people who just love to bring in new ideas. Nigerians, when, he's, when a Nigerian is somewhere, his mind is thinking, what new thing can I bring? What new idea can I bring? What is the better way to do this thing? Nigerians are always thinking ahead of time. That's why they are always ahead of every other country in this world. If a Nigerian is working with you in a company, if you are not a Nigerian, note, just note this and no peace. If a Nigerian is working with you in a company, you will not know when that Nigeria will be promoted. You will not know when the Nigeria will bring in something that will transform that company because they are always challenging themselves to do more. And that is the spirit, I believe, that is working behind this, our young man. His name is Khalifa Aminu. Khalifa Aminu, as in Khalifa. We all know Khalifa. Amino. So I'm giving out the name freely so you can go do your own research. If you think, say, a gym, they come here, come the top information will not be verified. Go and do your own research. And if you're in Nigeria, carry your two legs, walk out, go side where the boys stay, do your own interview. You say, go see and say, wait till a gym, they talk. Now, fact, original facts, okay? So his invention is actually impressive. It's massive and it's very, very important and it's life transforming. Very, very life transforming. So, Khalifa Aminu, a 17 years old Nigerian, he invented these glasses that you can see. They are smart glasses. Smart glasses, meaning that the glasses get sense. For people who have visual issues, for example, you are blind, you have a visual impairment, you have issue with your sight, you cannot see well or you cannot so many we have so many issues related to eye problems but these guys eyeglasses are doing something extremely peculiar and extremely unique and that's why i say it's challenging the inventions from china from america and from europe that, because some of you will be asking eh, eh, is america not producing uh, eyeglasses that are smart is america not producing eyeglasses for color blindness is america not producing is china not that producing i totally agree with you but who are those producing? How many young Americans at this age are producing what this child is producing? Is this child, look at where he's living. Look at, because from his pictures, you can see his environment and his locus inco. Now you begin to ask yourself, what resources is this boy having? What resources is he having to have the guts or the audacity to produce what he's producing? What is he having? How much money is he receiving? How much support? How much funds? How much grants? Is he receiving to be able to come up with this idea? You cannot compare this to America and Europe, man. Because these people have special labs, special research facilities, everything created for them. But a small boy, 17 years old in Nigeria, will be able to pull out this kind of massive success. And you want to take it for granted? To me, his success is far bigger than that of China, America, and Europe because he has nothing. He doesn't have the money, he doesn't have the research facilities to carry on and do bigger things. So this one merits a lot of hype. A lot of hype. 
Nigerians should be hyped. This one will not trend now. If now Yahoo boy don't do something now, everybody will know him. But like, can this boy trend? Can Nigerians make this boy? It's not trending. So this boy is able to produce eyeglasses for visual people. For example, if you cannot see, you put on his glasses that he's producing. Okay? The glasses will be able to dictate the distance. For example, if you are walking towards a wall, the glasses will be able to signal to you you are closer to the wall already. The glasses will be able to help you with direction. The glasses will be able to guide your movement. The glasses are interesting. He, we are not saying that he has... No, this is something that blind people, people that have issues with visual, with, with, with eye issues, have used the glasses around him. So basically, he's producing this thing and helping his community already. At what age? 17 years old. 17 years old, my guys. Can you, can you just think about it? What, at 17, what was I doing? At 17 years old, I could not even think of anything like this. I was just playing ball up and down, eating food. Studying chemistry that the white man asked me to study. Studying, doing just the algorithms, whatever the white man asked me to study. That's why we were studying. But at 17, this boy is inventing stuff, creating stuff, changing the narratives. This is so powerful. He has every right to train. He has every right to be compared to the likes of America, China, Europe, and every other country in this world that is in technology and is in, de and in developing things. We have to celebrate the boy. We have to give him the accolades and the praises that he deserves. Khalifa Aminu is his name. Go and check him out on Twitter. Go to uh, DW website. Go to any top news platform and check this boy out. And if you are in Nigeria, you can reach out to him and even get to him. The boy is a genius and Nigeria needs to protect and celebrate children like this. It is what it is. Smash the like button, smash the notification bell and come back anytime you are free because there's always more beautiful and amazing content like this just for you. God bless you all. Cheers!